Let's ride, V. Plan, boss. All right. Wait, the train's leaving. Just 
lost the Militech channel. Suits so finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V, I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
Hey, Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? I got good days, got bad days. Same as ever. You, uh, call just to see how I'm doing, or...? Not just. Got a favor to ask you. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. No chance in your company. Now that we've <laughs> blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I am intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <laughs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. You really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Uh, sure, what about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Oh. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay. Uh, is this a date? <laughs> You're not my type, Holmes. Just show up. I'll see you there.
So, as much as I need you for this new gig, I know you need the adrenaline hit even more. There is a car sitting in the middle of a minefield out in the Badlands. The chances of you exploding aren't zero, but let's face it, it's in life one big minefield anyway. Details are in the attachment. Fuck. Another gone from thought fake smile, Bobby. He's probably smiling himself before he OD'd a Maelstrom shipment. So what you get for sampling Maelstrom supply? Strongest shit out there. Nothing else that can fire up their burnt-out synapses. Poor bastard. His output's probably out in Albuquerque waiting. Unaware little Jiro's brain turned to jelly.
These are the results I like to see. Until next time, brother. Gate closed. Soot and ash. That much remains. Hey! Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Yeah. Name was Jackie. Uh-huh. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay, I'll help. Come on then. Look what You're okay I behind found. the wheel, right? Yeah, and? Whose was that? We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. He he and where? I can tell you're a city boy. You want to know everything. Now. Yesterday. Have you seen anything? A little patience, No. Me. Uh, go check Alice's pile. There's still quite a bit there. Thanks. May they find peace. May they find peace. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Mitch, you hear me? Yep. More driving, less talking. Sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. <laughs> yeah, you and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Sabura to put me on that fucking chip, or for you to slot it in your head. Oh, God, this place is too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little boy scout. So trusting, so accommodating. That's a scorpion. His last wish or something. Is that good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. Holy shit, Mitch! What the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. I mean, if that's what Scorpion wanted... He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Grab me that can, will you? Here you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. Uh, I see the driver is already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two and he'll puff up like a balloon. 
right. Shall we get this show on the road? Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. She's burning! Quick, before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So... How about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah. Ah. Nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Mitch, why me? Why'd you ask me to help? Uh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen. There's a... a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go on. It's yours. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him. No idea why. Listen. I'm gonna sit here for a while, alright? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh... Thanks, V. For today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. a horse to water, but you can't make her drink. Now, I've been trying to work with Iris for years, but the stubborn mare always brushes me off. Kind requests, the promise of good pay, not get helped. Always the same response. I don't do this, fixers. But today she has changed her tour. And why? She's kidnapped by the rates. Pettiness is if you help her, I bet she will fight on the speed. The gig details are attached. Go catch me.
Took you long enough. Iris Tanner, I'm supposed to get you out of here. We'd best get a move on. I'm not going anywhere without my ride. It's sitting in the garage. That wasn't in the spec. At least tell me it's fast, this ride of yours. No. No, it wasn't the spec. And no, it's not particularly fast, either. Let's say it's between you and me, huh? I'll make it worth your while. We'll see how things play out. Thanks for taking care of my ride. Don't mention it. Why didn't you want to work with Dakota before? I'm not crazy about fixers. Might as well be pimps without the special favors. Right. I prefer lining up my own clients and by my own rules. When you're a lone wolf, there's no fixers waiting to steal a cut of your hard-earned cash. So I take it this is an exception. And the last, hopefully. Jamai, brother. Dakota, Iris Tanner, as per your request. Sister. Cut the bullshit, all right? I'm no one's sister. Just tell me what I have to do. After that, we're even. Well, don't you two just get along perfectly? Thanks for everything, B. Happy to return the favor sometime. Just make sure you get what she owes you. V has nothing to worry about. Thanks. Nice doing biz with you. I'm listening.
Hey, V. For all that went down, I thought you and I'd be ancient history. Don't be a gonk. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. What do you say? You in? Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right, suit up, landlubber. Do this often? Diving? As often as I can. Why'd you choose this of all places? Why? Don't like it? It's okay, but any special reason you chose this one? Of course there is, but you'll have to wait to find out what it is. Let's get this scroller on ya. Water's toxic, that not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. You haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? 50-50 chance, I guess. Willing to risk it for the footage. All right, let's do this. Freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Don't descend too fast. Where are we headed exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Nah, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. Tight. 
Down we go. Impressive, huh? That's... that's incredible. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. Used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea just felt weird. for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. Looking for anything in particular here? I want to see what's further on. Come on then, I want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. We used to run as a kid. Our daily life grinded along. Can imagine it a bit. Oh, 
possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah, closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. Did you like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. Found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Hey, found a way in. Through the roof. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts. Know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. You didn't get chased off? Ran out myself. Echo, I got back scared. 